good day everyone and you're welcome back to my tutorial thank you guys for your support on this channel on today's tutorial we are going to be making this gorgeous dress so i'm using this material as uh, my yoke because it's going to have yoke so for those of you that do not know how to cut yoke this is an opportunity for you to learn from this tutorial so watch this video from the beginning to the ending so i'm using my sip and this is the oh, beautiful fabric i will be using for the dress and i will use my organza at the for this beautiful dress as well so let's eat our working table as we begin to cut so since it's going to half yolk I took five inches for the yoke. So the back measurement I will be working with is 15 inches. So I'm placing my back measurement. And I folded my material by my highest measurement, which is bust. So because it's going to half cut at the half length. So I'm finding the half of my round arm. Let us forget that we have five inches. So I place the five inches on the base to get the half of my round ammo. So this is what I want to mark. So, all right, guys, this is my shoulder to nipple, my bust point 9.5. And I have my Honda bust. 13.5 and I have my half length 16 inches which I will had some issues to it for sewing allowance all right guys because we are cutting bust here I have two inches at the back and I drew oh I drew a line on, from my chest line to the waist line so that I will not get confused. So this line is going to guide me for every measurement I will be taking for this tutorial for the upper part. <laughs> Only upper part. All right, guys, I'm placing the quarter of my waist measurement and on that line I made. I make sure I did not bypass the line so that I won't get into trouble. So I'm adding my sewing allowance. I added three inches. It's good. Three inches is okay. So I'm placing the quarter of my bust measurement. I'm marking it and I will add sewing allowance. And I did not bypass the line. So this line, make sure you place your tape measure on it and you did not bypass the line. So I will connect the lines together. I'm marking my hammer. So I'm going to connect it together like so. So, all right, guys, I'm not going to cut right here because I want to have the same shape for the with the back panel. So, I will place this one on the back panel before I cut it. All right, guys, these are the front panel and the back panel. So, I'm good to cut what I marked. So I'm cutting it. So I will separate uh, the back panel from the front because I'm working on the front. So do you see this line? Can you see the two inches we hit? So we have four inches for the nipple to nipple measurement. So I'm adding one inch to the eight inches 
for the nipple to nipple measurement sorry we have eight inches so making nine inches divided by two is giving me 4.5 and this 4.5 i'm folding it folding 4.5 so i'm folding 4.5 right here so i'm placing my tape measure to measure it so from that point i'm measuring four inches on the bust point i will measure 4.5 on the bust point i'm measuring 4.5 on my on the bust i'm measuring four inches or twice three quarter depending on how you want it and on my waist area i'll measure the same measurement i took for the hundred bust so i'm connecting from my chest line to my bust point to my under bust and to my waist so this is what i'm doing i have tutorial on this particular method you can check for this on my channel so i want to check the measurements what i marked before i cut so that i won't get to trouble <laughs> oh yeah so this is my bus point so i think this is what i have for the measurement all right guys i'm good to cut So I'm cutting the shape I made. So I'm true with cutting. So this is what I have. So this is what I have. All right, guys. I want to cut the depth of my neck. So I will cut the depth of my neck right here. So I'm marking the bust point and I will do the same thing on the on the bust so that it will guide me whenever I want to sew. So I have five inches for the yoke. So, I will place my tape measure and start measuring right here. So, this 5 inches I have for the yoke, I will add just 1.5, making 6.5 for the depth of my neck. So, I'm marking 6.5. And on the other side, I will mark 0.5. So I will connect this 0 0.5 to the 6.5 I made. We have 5 inches for the yoke. So can you see? So this is uh, 6.5. So I'm connecting this 0 0.5 to the 6.5 and I will cut. So this uh, neck shape is coming out as sweetheart neck. You can do any shape you want. You can decide on your own. So I'm cutting the neck I made. All right, guys. This is what we have. This is sweetheart neck. So I think I will go. I will go down small. 0 0.5 i'm marking 0 0.5 at that point and at the other side i will mark quarter so this is what i'm doing i'm connecting this quarter to the 0 0.5 i made because i want to know i want to lower one lower leg so this is what i have All right, guys, this is what we have. Can you see? It's very, very nice. 
you can check for this on my channel i have tutorial on this it's very very easy to cut so i'm going to join my lining before i had the yoke so this is what i want to do right here i will join my lining right here okay this is yoke we are going to be using this is the material we are going to use for the yoke so this is what i'm doing here so i'm looking for the center front the middle of the material we are using for the yoke i will notch it so i'm notching it so i'll place it on the table right side facing each other so the notching part will align together so i will use my pin to hold it down i'm using my pin to hold it down so i'm holding it with my pin So I will shape the hammer because it must be equal. The hammer must be equal. So I'm oh this is the line I cut. I will use this line to turn it up before I join it with the yoke. So I'm sewing it. I'm joining the line. So I want to cut the yoke. I prefer this method because it's very, very simple to cut. So, you know, I have five inches for the yoke. So I'm adding 0 0.5 for, for, for joining of the shoulder. So making 5.5, that shows I will place my tape measure. I will measure my 5.5. And I'm marking it. So at the other side, I will do the same thing. 5.5. All right, guys, I'm going to connect this 5.5 together. I'm connecting it together right here. And I will mark it, I will mark it down to the Hamu area. And I will do the same thing at the other side. So I'm joining it with the shoulder. So this method is very, very easy. And this is the beginner's friendly. So you can try it. <laughs> you will thank me. So I'm cutting the lines. Five point five. I marked. This is what I'm cutting. So I've cut it. So I want to look for the depth. So the back measurement I will be working with is fifteen inches divided by two is giving me seven point five. And I'm going to place this 7.5. So I'm adding 0 0.5 because I'm adding sleeve to this yoke. So I'm marking uh, 8 inches and I went down for my shoulder slope, which is 1 inch. So I'm marking the length I want to use. All right, guys, I'm marking the hammer. So I'm coughing it because it must be equal with the other one. So this is what I am doing. So can you see what I did? So here I'm coming down four inches for the depth of the neck. 
and I took 3.5 for the wideness of my neck. I connected my shoulder slope to the wideness of my neck and I'm chalking my, the depth of my neck. I'm good to cut right here. It's very, very easy. So I'm cutting the depth of my neck. to the shoulder slope and to the ammo. So this is my ammo. So this is the easiest way to cut yoke. Please like this video share and subscribe and if you find this tutorial helpful give this video thumbs up all right guys i'm going to place uh, the front panel on the yoke and i'm going to use my machine to sew like so i'm sewing that part and i will cut the sleeve and attach it so this is what I want to do. All right, guys, we are at the damp part. So I folded my material by my highest measurement, which is my hip. So this is my hip. I'm measuring my hip point from the waist line. I took eight inches and I want to roll it. So for the waist or measurement, I'm placing the cutter of my waist measurement I made this and I'm going to add my allowance to it so at the hip area I will place the same quarter of my hip measurement and I'm going to add allowance to hip measurement as well. So I'm going to the down part. We have all uh, 35 inches for the knee length. So we have 35 inches for the knee length. So I will add one inch for sewing allowance. So this is what I want to do right here. So I'm measuring the damp part right here. So there's no need uh, of adding zip allowance or so uh, sorry sewing allowance because I've added it at the hip area. You know the measurement I got from my hip area, I deducted 1.5 and I made the remaining one at the length. So I'm going to connect the seam together. So I'm connecting it together. I've connected it together so I'm good to cut I'm good to cut all right guys I have two inches for the zip allowance for the back of panel so I'm cutting the back panel so this is what I want to do here I'm slashing the zip allowance I'm slashing it
So I'll cut we have 36 the line inches right for the hip. So this gives me 18 inches. So the damp part, we have 17 inches as you can see. I place my tape measure. So if you so wish your damp part to be fitted than mine, you could go lower than 17 inches. But I'm okay with this 17 inches. So this is what I'm doing right here. So I'm going to sew. So I'll use my bias to turn the neck. Both front panel and back panel. I'm using my bias to turn it and I'm cutting the sleeve to it. So the damp part, I'm going to shape it, I told you. And if, I, if you can see the picture up there, you will understand what I'm talking about. So I've curved it this way and I'm going to cut it the way I use my uh, chalk to mark it. So this is the damp part of the dress. So I've shaped it and I've gathered the uh, organza material I'm going to use as rofu. So it's going to stay at the damp part and one side of the hip to the waist line. So it's going to reach waistline. So this is what I want to do. So I've added my sleeve and I've used my bias to turn the neck. All right, so I've come to the end of today's tutorial on my beautiful side ruffle dress with you. So can you see? I use my bias to pipe the neck and this is the sleeve and this is the bust. So the ruffle part of the dress is wonderful. So this is the zip area. I inserted my zip. So this is the ruffle area. Like this video, share, and subscribe to my channel if you are here to. And if you found this tutorial helpful, give this video thumbs up. Thank you for watching.